Cascabel. Locals call this place the crown jewel of the San Miguel, and for good reason. The canyon is extraordinarily beautiful here, and the trout fishery, well, it's the best, they say, in the whole river. The San Miguel twists and turns for almost three miles through the heart of Cascabel, the entire length of the property, in fact. What's more, Cascabel encompasses both banks of the river for almost all of that run. Three miles of private trout water, both banks. That is a hard thing to find. Cascabel spreads across the valley floor, sheltered by steep forested cliffs that rise to the canyon rim and the Uncompagre Plateau beyond. The fishing here is private, very private. The San Miguel River runs southeast to northwest through this 318-acre property and continues on to the BLM land, providing direct access to an additional six miles of fishable water. Sanborn Park Road leads into millions of acres of the neighboring Uncompagre National Forest. Cascabel lies in San Miguel and Montrose counties off Highway 145, north of the San Juan Mountains. Norwood is eight miles southwest atop Wright's Mesa. Telluride and the ski slopes are about a half hour's drive from Cascabel on Highway 145. Montrose, Black Canyon Jet Center, and the Montrose Regional Airport are about 65 miles from Cascabel via state and U.S. highways or Sanborn Park Road as a 37-mile seasonal alternative route. The San Miguel River begins high in the San Juan Mountains above Telluride and falls rapidly along a steep and rocky course to the valley below. The waters are still snow melt cold when they reach Cascabel. Here the gradient levels out. The river flows through riffles, pools, and around large boulders that create great pocket water and the perfect trout habitat. There's plenty of food too in the warm valley where the trout's favorite flies hatch profusely. The San Miguel is a freestone river, wild, natural, and one of the few large, free-flowing, and undammed rivers remaining in Colorado. Mother Nature calls the shots here, and she likes to keep things interesting. The Caspell property, um, very special fishery. It's a river that has a lot of structure down here. You've got a lot of fast water in the slow water, deeper pools, and just stunning riffles to work off of. Fish hold throughout the property. It's not uncommon to catch fish over 20 inches down here. But you know, property like this, they're nearly impossible to come by. The current owners developed Cascabel over almost 30 years as a retreat for their own growing families and as a private fishing club. The houses, cabins, and gathering places sit at the center of the property by design, a brilliant design. Peter Dominic, the acclaimed Denver architect, created the master plan for Cascabel and designed each structure to disappear into the surrounding landscape. Every single aspect was carefully considered and put together piece by piece so that nothing intrudes upon the natural beauty of the land. Woodbine, a Norwegian-style chalet, is tucked into a cut in the hillside above the river. The pitch of the grass roof is so perfectly calculated that from a distance, the home appears to be part of the hill itself. Woodbine's architecture brings nature inside, literally. An enormous stack stone retaining wall extends from the hill through the center of the house. Three fireplaces are built into this wall. Weathered timbers salvaged from abandoned mines support the ceiling.
Bluff View sits high on a prominent rock cliff overlooking the San Miguel River to command a spectacular view up and down the valley. And yet from the river below, the house is almost impossible to see. Dominic designed the lodgepole pine log home as an A-frame to give it both soaring 18-foot ceilings of glass and a low exterior profile. A stroke of architectural genius that brings height and light into the home without overwhelming the landscape. Like Woodbine, Bluff View has wonderful outdoor spaces, including a large pool and hot tub that overlook the river below. Clustered at the center of the property between the homes are guest cabins, the manager's home, the pool pavilion, and the day house with a dining area for 30. The four guest cabins range in size from one to three bedrooms. Architect Gerald Ross purposefully elevated the pavilion in contrast to Dominic's low profile buildings to give the second floor dining area and great room views of the sky above the canyon rim. The pavilion's timber frame construction and steep pitched roof, reminiscent of a mine shaft, pay homage to the region's mining history. On the floor of the canyon, Cascabel is in a world of its own. Beautiful, quiet, and so very, very private. As evening falls, shadows crawl up the canyon walls. The Milky Way spills across inky velvet and the constellations speak their names. The river echoes through the canyon with the sounds of water tumbling over rocks. Cascabel.